We are officially in October, and I have no idea how it happened. It was February two weeks ago. And with the change of the seasons, you can feel it coming. Starting right about now, everywhere you look, all you're gonna see is pumpkin. 800 calorie pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin scented candles, his and hers matching pumpkin Halloween costumes. But if there's one thing pumpkin I love more than anything else, it's pumpkin cheesecake. But the problem is one slice is over a thousand calories, only contains 10 grams of protein. And if I ate it often enough, you guys wouldn't watch the channel. Which is why instead of eating that cheesecake, I eat this one I'm about to show you instead. Not only can we whip this up in about 15 minutes as soon as those cravings come and knock in, the taste is amazing, the texture is incredible, it's high in protein, and if you're looking to satisfy that seasonal sweet tooth, all while losing weight and being able to look good in that pumpkin nighty, then look no further than this recipe, because I'm gonna show you something amazing. Come on. We're just gonna grab the trusty food scale. We need a mixing bowl. And the first thing we are gonna need is some canned pumpkin. You can pick this up in the baking section of your grocery store. It's really cheap, high in fiber, lots of volume, perfect for this. Watch that scale, 120 grams. Now we just need some fat-free Greek yogurt. I recommend the vanilla Oikos, but if you want slightly less calories, you can use the unflavored one, like the one from Chobani. All we need is 170 grams. Scoop that right in. Now we just need 42 grams of, ooh, whipped, cream cheese, bingo. Now we just toss in a scoop of vanilla whey protein. If you can find a pumpkin flavored one, go right ahead. But for me, vanilla does the trick. Next up, we got the gift from God himself, some sugar-free, fat-free cheesecake mix. Rip a little piece off the corner, pull the brown bag out like you're leaving the liquor store. Then we'll just add about seven grams right on top and then seal it up because you're gonna be making this one again. Now we just need a couple dashes of pumpkin pie spice, not too much, just a little. Then we need 15 grams of a zero calorie sweetener and all the best pumpkin pies are made with brown sugar, so we're using swerve brown sugar, 15 grams. And once we got all that in there, go in with a spoon. Mix everything together, one, maybe two minutes, until it's all the same consistency. It starts really smelling like a pumpkin cheesecake. Looking good, folks. We're gonna need a container. We are just gonna spoon our cheesecake mixture right down inside. Make sure your bowl has a lid if you plan on eating it later. If you're gonna eat it immediately, no lid required. Once you got it filled, just smooth out and flatten the top. That looks perfect to me. All right, she's looking pretty good. Now we're just gonna toss it in the freezer 10, 15 minutes, let it thicken up. And when we pull it out, we just got a couple more things. It'll be time to feast. Come on. Just pulled it out. Now for the finishing touches. We need five grams or one little sheet of crushed graham cracker. We are just gonna sprinkle this right on top. Give it a little crunch. Follow that up with some fat-free whipped cream. Ooh, and last but not least, little dash of cinnamon right on top. And boom, folks, time for dessert. Check this out, guys. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, that right there is literally one of the best tasting bites of a healthy dessert you have ever had in your life. Literally, guys, if you're a fan of cheesecake, I know you're gonna love this. Nothing about it tastes healthy. It doesn't taste like protein at all. Mmm, literally has the same like texture and mouthfeel as regular cheesecake. And once you eat it and you don't feel like crap and you're still on your diet and it tasted amazing, that's what we call a win-win. In this entire thing, if you make it exactly how I did it, it is only 400 calories with just 11 grams of fat. We're getting 44 grams of protein, only 32 grams of carbs with a couple grams of fiber, which means if you split this into two servings, that's 200 calories and 22 grams of protein. For a dessert, ladies and gentlemen, I think we call that 100% A+. Mm. Literally, guys, you can have your cake and eat it too. If you like this recipe and you want a lot more like it, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, make sure you pick up a copy of the RJF Anabolic Cookbook at the first link down below. Over 350 pages every time I drop a new recipe like this one, it gets added to the book for free. And I'm telling you, if you want to follow the best diet in the world, it's all in here. If you get in the kitchen and you make it happen, you'll see results no matter what. You just got to do it. Hit the link down below. Everybody else, go grab your updated copy. Because if it's even been just a couple weeks, there's a lot more added. Ooh. Tis the season, folks. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. Mm. Y'all need to go make this right now. I know if you do, you won't regret it. Mm. And heads up real quick for all the Anabar fans out there. Prime Day, the big Amazon sale, the 8th and the 9th. Anabars are going to be up to 30% off. Make sure you mark your calendar. It's while supplies last. And while you're there, maybe grab my favorite, the Death by Peanut Butter. Because just like this cheesecake, I know you can't go wrong if you do that. Mm. Prime Day, the 8th and 9th on Amazon. Some of the cheapest you'll ever find in the world's best tasting protein bar. Mm. And with that, I'm out of here, guys. I'm gonna finish this up. Actually, probably about half of it. Put the other half in the freezer. Eat it later. 
Mm, appreciate all of you for stopping by the channel. If you ever like the threads I'm wearing, younglay.com code RGF. It's all I wear. And if you're looking for someone to help you get back in shape before the new year, visit my site, RomanceJamesFitness.com. I'll send a questionnaire, you fill it out. I'll get to work. We'll make some things happen. Mm, till next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see everyone here with the next video. See you guys. I'm out of here, baby. Mm. Cool.